Howdy. Welcome to hopefully a new series where I attempt a sort of challenge-oriented playthrough of Resident Evil 8. In this challenge, I'm not allowed to kill anyone unless the game actively requires me to do so. I have taken great inspiration from another YouTuber, Dark Viper AU, and I will leave his link to Grand Theft Auto 5 Pacifist series down in the description and up at the corner card. I butchered every single bit of that, but I'm leaving that in. I'll be using the New Game Plus save from my Village Shadows because it is the one with the best inventory and available resources. Although I will be playing it on casual difficulty just to make the challenge easier because it doesn't matter how easily or hard I can kill a person, it's whether or not I can actually get by without killing them. Our game starts out with the sneak peek Long of the ago, new timber a young movie. girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. I feel like there's some legal obligation to say that was a joke. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold What it summer. actually is, is a bedtime story that Mia is reading to you and her baby Rose. Just watch out for the thorn, whenever Rose has one. Sometimes they have guns, too. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. There. She's asleep. Did you say something? Nothing. I'll put her down. Ethan, this is pacifist. We're not putting anyone down. There, there. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. Almost there, honey. There you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. Go. Down the stairs, come on. Down the stairs. Is she okay? Sleeping like a, uh, well, like a baby. Hmm. <laughs> That smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, mister. It's Chorba de la Gum, the local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Mm. Local wine, too. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. <sighs> you really have to stop worrying. <sighs> it's just finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be- Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so- <sighs> Mia, get down! The nice family atmosphere doesn't last too long to a series of distant gun bullets. Mia! Here's from outside the house. It is revealed that the bullets were fired from Chris, Chris? Redfield's squad. He walked into Sorry. the house, asserts dominance, and shoots Mia some more. No! Obviously in an attempt to prepare Ethan to continue what? the Redfield bloodline. Yo! 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 Ethan! Just give it up, Winter! Ethan! Just give up, Escaping! Ethan! Just give up your semen! Ethan! Just give it, give it up, give it up, give it up, give it up, give it up! Why? Go on, move! Uh, 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 
All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. Turns out that somewhere along the way, from Ethan's house to Claire's, the vehicle ran off the road. Just a shame. We are then treated to a nice walk through a snowy forest. Are you serious? This is torture. You're torturing me and everyone else watching. Sweet. There's a rope. You know what that means. We get to hang ourselves. Hey, Dalton, where did we get to hang ourselves? Seeing from grown ups. Did all this. Sniper commentary as always. Is his hand even blood anymore? Seems like a nice village. In the village, there are several oddities and strange occurrences. Everyone just seemed to have disappeared one day. You know, like the rapture. Life seemed to have stopped randomly here. We do finally meet another person, though. No, no! Friendly! Friendly. Bro, who are you? This is Pacifist. You? What are you doing? Nobody. There was an accident You're gonna lose. Down the road. You're gonna fail the challenge. What's going on? Oh no! They're coming. Who is? What the hell was that? You have a gun? What? Please tell me you have a gun. No, why would I? You're lying! Take it! Take it! 
tell me who's out there. Hey, are you listening? Hey! What the? Well, looks like someone else is going to fail, fail the challenge too with me, or with them, I mean. See, I'm not in this room though when I'm pulled down. wrong with this place <laughs> come on I really needed those Shit. fingers that was my jack and offhand. What the fuck was that? How am I supposed to no. do things now? Get back. major complications for this challenge. See, the game is sequential based on strict triggers. In this house, there is one lichen that is required to be killed by the player. I think I have to kill this guy. I don't think there's any other option. So sadly our total was brought to one. Of course, this could be the end of the series, but the challenge of killing no one has failed. But I think we should continue. Moving straight into the Lycan Swarm. This is a timed attack sequence. I tried out a few strats here. I want to test one of the strats I found. Um, which I'm gonna call hiding on the ladder like a little bit. So bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. I want to test that one out further because I don't know if certain triggers can only happen if you're actively moving. If that's the case, it would assume it would explain why nothing seemed to happen, well, except for the one lichen that was dancing. The Lycan Swarm goes surprisingly smooth, although a bit scary. We then move on to the search for Louise's house, a house that we heard about earlier on the radio broadcast. Oh, that's where my script ends. Like I said, Dalton, I want you to put in all of the uh, cutscenes later in editing, just so they can have better.
you doing here? Stay. Come on, it's clear. Uh, hurry, hurry! Uh, your damn time. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, He's not used to relying on other people. I'm sorry. We'll be safe in here, won't we? Safer here than out there, that's for sure. Hey, do you know anything about what's going on around here? It doesn't make any sense. Mother Miranda has always protected us. Nobody's answer. Father? <laughs> we have to get inside. Hello? Anybody home? Maybe a familiar voice. Before we are granted entry to Louise's abode, we are greeted by a second reasonable civilian, our guest third. It might be a bit rude that every real person we have met so far has either met us with a gunshot, a blade, or at gunpoint, but considering what they have to deal with, makes a lot of sense. No, they'll smell the blood. You'll endanger us all. My father will die out here! But that's not my problem. What's going on? These people want to let a dying man into our home. Come now, these people are our friends. Go on, go inside. Come now, this way. You're not from this village. Uh, no. I'm Ethan. Yulian, go make yourself useful and check the grounds. I said go! Well, if Elena trusts you, and so do I. You know, Louisa, I'm not sure I would do that. Everyone else who's trusted Ethan so far has died. I'll check on the others. I'm just gonna save over that, doesn't matter. Louisa, they broke in again, got more of the livestock. I don't think we'll make it through winter at this rate. Ernest is still missing too, we can't find him anywhere. Has Mother Miranda abandoned us? This reminds me of the hallway in Cyberpunk 2077, when you uh, first play as Johnny Silverhand. Come inside, the others are waiting. What the fuck is this? Outsiders, you're gonna get us all killed! Quiet! Anton! He helped Leonardo and Elena. We were doing fine by ourselves. Please, Ethan, take a seat. Is this all that's left? From your entire village? All that's left? All that's left? There is no one left! A worthless invalid! A stupid witch! And you! You drag a bloody man and an outsider in here like it's nothing? And expect to be all safe? There is no safe! Every sorry bastard out there has been ripped in half. But tomorrow? Tomorrow we're we'll all be dead. The nice dining room area like is going husband. well until Lee Nutter grunts at pain and starts to become auto-tuned. And he turns into a lichen. Turns out that during a scuffle with one, they cut or bit him. Wait a minute. Nah, I'm sure it's nothing. Leonardo and Elena both failed the challenge. 
did nobody read the rules? Leonardo killed like six people, and then Elena shoots him. Six and one are bigger numbers than zero. I'm so sorry, Father. Hey, hey, that wasn't your father anymore. You did the right thing. <laughs> Elena, Elena, no. There's nothing you can do. Papa! This entire place is collapsing. No! No! You couldn't save him. He was already gone. Leave me alone. No. We're getting out of here. Together. Does the fire spread in real time? Like, if I wait here... Long enough... Oh, it does! So if I wait here long enough... Could the fire just consume the whole garage? And I'd be too late? I know the fire doesn't damage Ethan. Since I saw those bags catch on fire in front of my eyes, shit, now I'm intrigued. Elena, we are breaking ground here. What if I leave the room again and come back? I open the drawer, then come back. Probably nothing. I mean, it probably will, but I don't have the patience for it. A screwdriver. Well, now we're invincible. The fire's moving fast. No, it isn't. <coughs> we just watched the fire. It was moving slow. What happened? What are you thinking? That's wrong, Ethan. Step back. We can bust out with Ethan's this. genius idea is to try and drive the truck straight through the walls of the house. Which, okay. Even if he could do this, did he forget about the outer wall? And I guess they could just climb it out and over at that point. Are you alright? I'm, I'm fine. Doesn't matter. Let me back up the again. truck can't do it anymore. Fire. There isn't any time. Conveniently though, he does crash right next to the stairs. We want to go, but up. Grab on. Hurry. Let's move! Don't worry. And try not to breathe in the smoke. I know. Thank you, Ethan. <coughs> You're kind. Come on! It'll hold! <coughs> there! That's our way out. Thank God. But what then? The village is still full of monsters. We can't fight them, there's too many! Hey! Hey, don't talk like that! We'll find a safe house to put you in until I can find my daughter. My hunch is she's in that old castle. No. That place is full of nothing but blood and death. And I don't want to be alone while you're... As it turns out, Leonardo didn't die from the shotgun blast. He wades through the flames and makes it up to where you and Elena are. Elena, being the foolish damsel in distress she is, Apparently he forgets about everything that just happened seconds no. earlier. Then this Stay happens. There. Come on! Give me your hand! Ethan, go! Save your daughter! Elena, don't give up! Reach for me! Bye. 
Why is everyone dying on me? I know, Ethan. It's a real shame. This is just too much. I just don't get it. This place is going mad. Why the fuck is this happening again? Ah, shit! They better not take my screwdriver. And we couldn't save Ethan. Why is everyone dying on me? Who, who was. What was that? I know, but all these. None, none of these people can grasp what pacifist means. Everyone is just killing people. We now move on to the castle. I catch all witnesses. But blood and death. Or at least it will be in the next episode. Making this video and this series has and will be an amazing experience. If you liked this video and would like to see more in the future, you can head down and press like and subscribe if you haven't already, so you won't miss further installments of this series and other series on my channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.